Well, we have been talking a lot on France 24 about the upcoming legislative election here in France. The first round, of course, is this Sunday, June 30th. And I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into that with our French politics editor, Mark Perlman, who joins me on the set. Hi, Mark. Hi, Jane. We were saying earlier that the far right is seeming, sounding very confident going into this vote. Are they right to be? According uh, to the latest polls, they are absolutely right to be uh, confident. Uh, they've said, they've repeated, we need an absolute majority in uh, the National Assembly to be able to really uh, push through our uh, program. And the latest uh, polls we're seeing, uh, the images right now, shows for the first time that they would indeed get this absolute majority in the National Assembly. The magic number is 289. Those are the number of seats you need to get an absolute majority. So if you look at this, the national rally is polling between 230 and 270. However, a small key group is the alliance between uh, the uh, president of the uh, Conservative Party, Eric Ciotti, uh, who decided to leave essentially the party with some allies. And there, the alliance uh, gives them 20 to 35 seats. So if you do the math, uh, this means that the national rally and its allies in parliament could indeed reach this absolute majority. This is only a poll. You see that the number of projected seats is varying quite a lot because those are 577 races. It's very difficult because it's a two-round uh, election with a majority uh, system. So it's very, very difficult to project. But it does uh, show uh, that... Uh, just after the European election that prompted Emmanuel Macron to call for the snap election, they still have the momentum and they're certainly hoping uh, that this will uh, be able, this will allow them to win uh, round one and be in pole position for round two and eventually get Jordan Bardella to Matignon where uh, the prime minister Works. Indeed. So let's say that the far right leader, Jordan Bardella, becomes the prime minister. Emmanuel Macron, for the moment, is still the French president of his centrist party. Uh, they call it a cohabitation here. If that were to happen, what would that look like? How would that work? Well, we've had this uh, before uh, three times uh, already, uh, and it's it's obviously a difficult uh, situation because you have a, a president who was elected uh, who then lost uh, an election. Uh, and is now with his key opponent, and they have to deal uh, together. Uh, the way this works in France is that the prime minister deals mostly with domestic issues, the president deals with foreign affairs and uh, defense. Uh, this morning, Marine Le Pen, the leader of the national uh, rally, uh, said that, well, you know, uh, being the chief of the army is essentially an honorific position, meaning that the prime minister also has his stay. And she took the example of the possibility raised by Emmanuel Macron of sending ground troops to Ukraine. He, she said that uh, through his uh, power over the purse, essentially the budget, the prime minister could decide that there won't be money to send troops to Ukraine. And so this is clearly already an opening salvo to uh, show that Emmanuel Macron that he will not be able to have a free hand on foreign affairs, on defense affairs, if Jordan Bardella is elected uh, prime minister. So obviously, uh, this could be a very, very difficult. Uh, just for uh, the record, every time there has been a cohabitation and then eventually an election, the prime minister lost mm -hmm. that election. Obviously, uh, this won't happen this time around because Emmanuel Macron will not be able to run for another mandate. But maybe after deciding to call uh, the snap election, he's feeling that uh, eventually in 2027, that when there'll be the next presidential election, having uh, uh, used or uh, maybe abused his position as president and really dent uh, the national rally, uh, he might be able uh, to say, OK, I'm handing the baton to someone from my camp, or at least not from the far right. But this is clearly science fiction. Right now, uh, the next election is on Sunday, round one. We can expect one thing, uh, much more turnout than in the previous legislative elections and in the, than in the European election just a few weeks ago. All right.